How many TH3D parts do I have on one of my original Ender 3s? We're gonna find out today. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. So if you didn't notice, I have a ton of videos featuring TH3D parts. Well, I tell you what, this is actually the second Ender 3 I ever got. It's the one I used in my original build video based on Luke Hatfield's help guide. And if you can notice from there, it is pumped full of a ton of aftermarket upgrades. This is the Ender 3 that I used to film almost all of the TH3D videos that you've seen. And today, we're gonna take a look at this Ender 3 as it sits and check out all of the TH3D parts that I have on it. This will be a different video because I'm not really upgrading anything, I'm not really reviewing anything, I'm just kinda talking about all the different parts that I've put on this particular Ender 3. And there's a lot. Let's do it. Now one of the first things I did on the Ender 3 here was added the magnetic build plate. So I put the magnet on and I added the TH3D Easy Mat on one of their Easy Flex plates. And I love this combination. You pop it off, you give it a couple flexes and it comes off. And the TH3D Easy Mat is notoriously known for holding those prints nice and tight. Another thing I did was I actually went down to Tim's shop and we actually installed this right here. This is the Easy ABL and we did a whole video on that. It was a lot of fun. Uh, this runs over to a control box right here, and that is your auto bed leveling, the Easy ABL. And I tell you what, this really added a lot of function to this printer because it's super accurate. Along with the Easy ABL down here, I added the solid bed mounts that come from TH3D as well. I love the solid bed mounts because it gets rid of all of the different types of springs that doesn't matter if you have the regular or the yellow or any other color you have out there. You get rid of them, you put the solid mounts on, your bed can no longer flex with those, and it's held in one spot, which allows your Easy ABL to probe it, and it should never change unless maybe one of your wheels falls off or something goes crazy with uh, one of the eccentric nuts. But I love the solid mounts. Get rid of the springs, solid mounts are the way to go. Another thing I've done on the Ender 3 right here is I installed the TH3D Easy Board Lite. Now this is the version 1.2 board, uh, I have it inside of here. This just happens to be another one that I have. And uh, ever since I put this board in, this printer has been printing phenomenally. The firmware was super easy to compile off the TH3D website. You can use all the features you want with this board because there's a lot more space on the board than the stock one. And this thing is silent. It uses the 2208 stepper drivers and it's, it's definitely a silent machine after I installed this. One of the best things I've done, TH3D Easy Board Lite right here. Another thing I've done is I've replaced the stock power supply with that Meanwell power supply that TH3D sells. And this mount right here is a file that you can get from them as well. It mounts right to the side, it's super convenient, and it definitely is much better than the stock power supply that came on this. This was not the Ender 3 Pro, this was the Ender 3 Standard. By doing this, I made it closer to an Ender 3 Pro. If you notice in the back, this actually has Dual Z. This is the kit that TH3D sold. It added that second lead screw along with a belt up here to keep everything in sync. It did not add the second motor, but it was very easy to install. And it definitely holds this side of the gantry much better than the stock did. Not that the stock had any problems holding that gantry as long as it was adjusted right, but now you really don't have to worry about it having that second lead screw. If you notice down here, I actually don't have any of those XT60 connectors. That's because I reached out to TH3D early on when we found out some of those XT60 connectors were bad and I asked them if they could start making a replacement, either a full silicone wire just to go straight there without the XT60s or one with the XT60 in the center. What I got back was a custom set from TH3D. Everything was crimped on the ends. All I had to do was install it and it was awesome. I got rid of the XT60s, that's fine because I'm never gonna take this off. And it's just direct 12 gauge silicone wire. This is much safer than what came from the factory when these things first came out. One of the very early things that I did on this Ender 3 it was I added the TH3D tough tube and then the TH3D couplers they got. Now I like these couplers because they have the metal teeth inside. Uh, you can get this as a bundle kit now. It comes with the tough tube and the couplers that you need and you can do that for multiple printers, not just the Ender 3. But I did have this on here until I went with the printer mods direct drive as you can see here. In this case, I'm actually repairing it so it's not actually attached right now because I'm fixing it. But that being said, I had the tough tubing and the couplers on this thing at one time. So there's two more parts 
from TH3D. Something that you can't see that I replaced down here in the control box is the fan. I replaced it with a much quieter fan that I got uh, from TH3D. Also, I picked up the quieter fans from TH3D for your part cooling and your heat bracket right here. Uh, both fans much quieter than the stock ones. They run really well. So they lasted almost two years since I put them on there. Last but not least, uh, if you remember in my early videos, I installed the metal TH3D extruder onto the Ender 3. Now I did have that for a long time when I went to the printer mods direct drive, I actually swapped over to the EZR extruder. Uh, I like that one as well. The EZR extruder is, is a very good extruder. The metal extruder from TH3D is awesome. But it's always good to point out that I did have that part on this printer. So at one time, uh, that metal extruder sat back here, again, with the printer mods direct drive. It sits up here now, and I replaced that one with the EZR extruder because I wanted to try that. So that was just a quick look of a bunch of the TH3D parts that I put on one of my original Ender 3s. I get a lot of comments and emails and, and chats saying, hey, do you still use these parts? Do you still have the original Ender 3 that you filmed a lot of these with? And the answer is yes. Uh, the only thing about this one is I'm taking the hot end apart. As you can see, that's why the direct drive is off because I'm gonna do something different on the hot end, which is gonna be a lot of fun. But I've done a lot of videos and I put a lot of time into upgrading this particular Ender 3. And this is the one, like I said earlier, that you've seen in almost all of the Ender 3 videos in the past. It was a ton of fun. There's a lot of cool parts here. I'll put links in the description below for all the parts. I'm gonna to talk to Tim after this. Let's see if I can get a discount code for the rest of December. Uh, if I can, I'll throw it in the description below as well. But I tell you what, uh, I think that you'll really like upgrading your printer if you haven't done so already. I'll put a link in the description right here for a playlist I did for all of the Ender 3 stuff that I've upgraded. If there is one thing you did to your printer and there's one upgrade that I would suggest, it's the Easy Flex. Uh, do some sort of flex plate, some sort of base. This right here is the Easy Mat. They have a new version, uh, but you can just stick it down to the flex plate. You put your magnet right on the bed if it doesn't have one already. And then you can use this, you throw it on there when you're done, just give it some flexes. I love these things. I have them on all my printers now. Actually, a lot of them I've swapped over to the Easy Flex 2, the, the textured PEI surface. Um, but, but they all work really well. And that is one of my very favorite upgrades. Very fast, 10 minutes or less. And uh, that thing has saved me a ton of prints and a ton of time trying to scrape stuff off of it. With all that being said, this was a quick random video about one of my original Ender 3s that had a ton of stuff from TH3D. I really appreciate our partnership and, uh, and your parts really work. Thank you again for everything you guys have done for the channel. I hope you guys like it. And uh, if you want anything, again, check the description below. I'm gonna try to get us a discount. Cross our fingers, I think Tim will hook us up. But I uh, hope you learned something today. Keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video today. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button right here and little bell right over here if you wanna get notified anytime we go live on Monday nights for Hot Mix or anytime a great video like this comes out. I hope you guys like these upgrades. Have you seen this one?